Hi guys, welcome to my channel and today I'll be talking lock retwist. This is the debut of my locks on camera so welcome, welcome to them. And um, yeah, so I'll be doing my retwist without wax and without uh, clips. Um, I don't know, I just never really liked the feel of the wax. It was just um, heavy and yeah. but. So this is how I discovered um, my method, especially after the corona started, so I really had to tend to my own hair. So this is the method that I came up with and it really is working for me and I'm enjoying it. And I do see the length happening as well, um, but I'll do a visual lock journey later on. Um, over my day, let's just see how the retwist is going to go. Right, so I've already washed my hair. As you can see, it's up in a towel because it's wet. Um, yeah, so I'm a very DIY kind of girl and I've already mixed this. It's just water and a little bit of coconut oil because my hair gets dry a lot. So I like to have some water and oil in it and I'll just shake that up. And then we have the coconut oil. I didn't mix it with anything else so it doesn't really have a smell. It just looks like ordinary old coconut oil and it's like this because it's not really that warm so it's solid and we'll just leave that open and keep it close then I have these five hair ties I call them scrunchies you tell me what you call them but I use these to section my hair as I work then we have these two clips don't worry they will go I know I said no clips but these will go, it's just to hold a small section of hair. Boom! <laughs> Here's the hair. It's looking kind of crusty right now, but um, you know we're doing a retwist, so girl's gonna look fresh. Make sure to keep a towel close because your hair is wet and you know how long it takes for locks to get dry. So there will be a little bit of dripping here and there, and yeah, that's why I've got that. So as you can see, there's that one lock that just refuses to lie down and it always does this. I call it my L fail for lock. Um, but yeah, but see, let it do what it does. So yeah, whatever. So I've got four of the hair ties on my wrist now. Um, why that is, is because I'm going to section my hair into four equal parts. Depending on how many locks you have, I think um, it's going to be different for everyone. But for me personally, I section them into four parts and it's just easier for me to work with. So manje, I'm separating my locks and I have to pop the hair but see they marry so I don't know who told them to go and do that but yeah it just um, it's a matter of just popping them apart and I don't use combs so I just run my fingers and I feel where the lines are and where I can feel the roots and I just pull very gently though and it does help that the hair is wet so I just very gently pull them apart and I feel which hair goes towards which lock and yeah then I just tie it up. Make sure that when you're tying the sections of your hair you're not tying it too tight. There'll be a lot of pulling and twisting and um, strain on the hair so you don't want to you know give yourself a headache right now like I said we're gonna do four equal parts I just want to show you um, what it's gonna look like around my whole head and I don't know about you but I enjoy seeing a clean scalp guys isn't that beautiful mm. all right so now we're done with part one and I want to start showing you with the back of my head I think it'll be easier to see instead of the front part of my head so we're just gonna untie the scrunchie and separate the hair so if it's feeling a little dry there we have our trusty spray bottle with our 
water and oil mix and then we're just gonna go through spraying just so that you feel that the roots are not dry and it won't hurt when you pull apart the hair or when you twist now I'm just massaging that in and it feels good and you know it's good for your scalp too I start by separating the row that I'll be doing so it's the row right at the bottom of my head and I do that because I don't have a mirror so I can't see what's going on back there and it's just easier to work with when um, the locks that you're not retwisting are tied up You want to make sure that you separate these locks as well because um, like I said earlier that they marry so you want to pull them apart and make sure that you can feel um, a root in between each and every lock. So what I'm doing there is I'm getting the coconut oil and I'm basing my scalp right around the locks that I have um, separated. This moisturizes and helps with holding my retwist. The method that I use to retwist is palm rolling where one hand goes up and one hand goes down having the lock in between your hands. And I don't know, for me it's just a simpler method and it's, I'm comfortable doing it basically. The locks that I have retwisted I am weaving in between my index and middle finger and then I hold the end of the lock between my ring finger and pinky finger so I don't know if you can see what I'm doing there but yeah now we have the first row twisted and I didn't do it too tight because I don't want to give myself a headache later on and here comes that clip that I was talking about um, I just use it to hold uh, the first row of locks that I have there and it is temporary because I'll take it off once I'm done with the second row. Doing the same thing again, I take down the row that I will be working on and I will tie back up the locks that I will not be retwisting as yet. Once again, we're going to pop the locks and oil the scalp. Uh, that didn't rhyme at the end, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, that's what we'll be doing again. And I just want to show it to you. Okay, so that second row is done and I want to show you what I do with that clip. I put it away and then I take another one of the scrunchies. Remember, I have five. So I'll take another one of the scrunchies and I'll tie the first and second row together. I'm not tying my hair really tight. It's just so that I can hold it down and isn't doing your own hair such a mission? I still prefer it that way though. 
So I'm just going to speed it up and do the rest of that section. I also wanted to give you a view from the front and I'll just do that last row that I was working on and again as you can see the marrying on the locks are real so I just popped the locks and hmm I don't remember what I said the first time but yeah and then oil the scalp that's what it was yep so that's what we'll be doing you were my choice And now we have one of the locks that I'm very worried about. It's not thinning, but it is a very small lock compared to my other one. So do be careful if you have locks like that or thinning locks. Um, make sure to twist very carefully and not very tight because you could very well damage your locks. And I uh, see full knee layout. And there we have that twisted front row. Doesn't it look beautiful? I know uh, some of you guys really like um, fresh, clean roots that, like you know, are combed through. Um, like I said, Mina, I prefer just running through with my hands. I never like combs, yoga, tesikama. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just not a fan of combs very much, but. I think it looks good regardless and I'm pretty sure once I have longer locks I'm just gonna let it grow and I won't be retwisting in a while. Okay and this is me when I'm done. I want to show you the side views and how that looks. And here's the rest of my scalp so you can see the scalp properly it's just you know not as straight as it would be if you had used a comb and I think it's also a cute look and then I just sleep overnight and this is the second day so it's all dried out now and I don't know about you but for me this was also a cute style and if it wasn't for um, the purpose of the video I would leave this on and just walk around with pom-poms as you can see, I'm just taking down those hair ties that I had put on. I don't know, I'm struggling with this one because I've been saying that I'm not tying everything too tight. But there we go, finally. And I'm just shaking my hair out um, because it had been tied up. And that's what it looks like. I think it came out pretty good. And that's another side. See, the oil and water does really hold it down. I'm pretty sure the wax would have a stronger hold, but this works great. And I have my spray bottle again because, like I said, my hair gets dry. Plus, it's always a good thing to just... Um, Put some water in your hair hydrate and that mixture is really good I'm pretty sure you can add an essential oil and I'll be trying that later but for now it's just me and my coconut oil and I'll just be rubbing that through just to give them a nice shine and also take care of your edges as well just brushing them down I don't use it control that much it's just um, brushing down hmm and now for the style not sure what to do yet but I think I'm just gonna go for my go-to style if you've seen me if you've seen my pictures 
literally this is what i go for like all the time i don't know why i just love this half up half down look so there are variations you can do like a side fringe with it but for now i'm just gonna leave these four locks laying down on either side of my face so yeah Now you can't sit there and tell me that water and oil doesn't do the trick because look at that. Mm. Ooh, look at that pineapple. So, I don't know, the pineapple's not doing what I wanted it to do, so, okay, first I tried, you know, loosening the hair tie, and then I was like, hmm, nah, that looks worse. So, I'm just going to try it another way, same hairstyle, but instead, I'll tie it in a little bun. see that's the one right there so again just brush your edges out um, especially if edge control just make sure they don't look crusty guys and yeah so that's my style just quickly again I wanted to give you another view of how the fresh retwist looks like and also of my locks I don't know I just love the way that that looks like yep. thank you for watching guys I hope you enjoyed that I hope you will try it out I mean just once get yeah, if you know um, but yeah you will feel very refreshed and it will be very light and they're very bouncy right now so yeah tell me which hairstyle you like better the one with the open pineapple norma this one i think this one right now is the one i'm preferring um like i said there'll be more videos to come and yeah so i guess i'll see you next time